टॉपिक इज विजुअल रेन्सफोर्समेंट आयोमेट्री और वी आर ए वी आर ए इज ए स्क्रीन टूल यूथ फॉरेस्टिंग हेरिंग लॉस इन चिल्ड्रेन इट यूज ऑपरेंट कंडीशनिंग प्रोसेस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इन दिस पिक्चर यू कैन सी हाउ वी आर एज परफॉर्म वी आर ए इज द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज इन फोर्समेंट प्रोसीजर इट इज यूज टू एवॉलेट हेरिंग इन चिल्ड्रेन हु आर कॉग्नेटिवली बिटवीन फाइव टू सिक्स एंड थर्टी सिक्स मंथ ऑफ एज ऑपरेंट कंडीशनिंग इज ए प्रोसेस बाई विच द फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ ऑकरेंस ऑफ ए बिहेवियर इज मोडिफाइड बाई वाट हैपन्स वेन द बिहेवियर अकर्स वी आर ए यूज एज ए कंडीशनिंग हेयर टर्न रिस्पॉन्स दैट इज सेव बाई द एग्जामर्स कंट्रोल ऑफ एस्टमस रिस्फोर्समेंट पैटिग्राम नेक्स्ट द ऑडियोलॉजिस्ट प्रेजेंट एस्टमस इफ द चाइल्ड डिटेक्ट एस्टमस सी विल टर्न टू आर एट द ऑडियोलॉजिस्ट दैन एक्टिवेट ए रिस्पोर्सर After a full representation the child learn to seek the reinforcer when he hears the sound What is visual reinforcers A variety of toys are available for use as a reinforcers Mure Thompson and Thompson 1925 investigated uses of different reinforcers and their effect on responses They compared no reinforcement social reinforcement blinking lights and complex visual reinforcement and concluded that the complex reinforcement resulted in significantly more localization than simple reinforcer did mechanical toys that are brightly illuminated such as a clown that play drums dog that barks or elephant that eat ice cream cones are excellent testing once the infant or child is conditioned to the visual reinforcer the testing phase can be begin test room setup it is usually best to begin testing in sound field inserting earphones may be stressful to the child and reduce cooperation beginning testing in sound field will provide basic information about hearing and once that is obtained testing can proceed with insert earphones or with the bone vibrator to perform sound field testing the test room needs to be large enough to be able to have loud speaker set up at a significant angle and distance from the infant to permit an obvious head turn the child should be seated at no less than a 45 degree angle from the loudspeakers and reinforcer and preferably at 90 degrees when performing vra the sound is usually presented from one loudspeaker and the reinforcing toy are on the same side of the test room as the loudspeaker no matter whether the child hears the sound in the right or left ear she will turn toward the same toy positioning early the child should be seated in a high chair and not on a parent's lap if the child is on someone's lap the adult may respond to the sound and it eventually give a clue to the child if the child must sit on adult's lap because she will not sit alone or does not have sufficient torso control to sit alone the adult need to be instructed not to respond in any way to the presentation of the sound stimulus beginning testing child should be seated in the high chair or on a parent's lap and facing to forward the room does not need to be silent but it should be relatively quiet the audiologist begin the presentation of a stimuli at a level at which the child is expected to respond if the child hear the sound she will likely look up the from the toy and search for the sound source if there is no response the audiologist increase the intensity until there is a response once a response is obtained the reinforcer is turned on if the infant look up but does not turn to the reinforcer the test assistant should be attract the child's attention to the reinforcer when this has been done a few times the infant will usually have learned the task and testing can begin before attracting the child's attention to the reinforcer it is essential that audiologist be absolutely certain that the child hears the sound test stimuli any speech stimulus can be used to obtain a speech awareness threshold sat to obtain frequency specific speech information it will be necessary to use low mid high and high frequency stimuli such as ba sha and sha respectively which will be agreement with pure tone threshold at low mid high and high frequencies protocol for visual reinforcement audiometry first seat child in high chair in a child's chair or on parent's lap second the test assistant or parents keep child attention focused to the front using quiet toys third 
The auditory stimulus is presented at a comfortably loud level above expected threshold. The conditioning reinforcing toy is turned on. If the child does not turn, the test assistant calls attention to the toy. The auditory stimulus and the conditioning toy are kept on together for 3 to 4 seconds. Fourth, step 3 is repeated until the child constantly turns on LA auditory stimulus. Factors that affect visual reinforcement audiometry. First, distractors must be interesting but not too ignoring. Second, reinforcers must be interesting and attractive. Third, parents and other adults in the test room must be careful not to be distracting and not to clue to the infant as to presence of an auditory stimulus. Fourth, the test stimuli should be varied to keep the child's attention. Fifth, presentation timing of stimuli should be varied so as to be unpredictable. So this is the process of or procedure of visual reinforcement audiometry. I hope you are satisfied with this video.